What's up, everybody, on Charleston Car Videos? I hope y'all ready to see this BMW today. What? Look at this thing. My goodness gracious, is that not a exotic BMW sports car? Oh, yeah, it is. I hope y'all ready. Y'all ready for this? Are y'all ready for this? Let's get started. So I've been riding by this car dealership out in Ravenel for the last couple years. But today I rode by and I saw this BMW, I think it's what, the i8? I think, yeah, the i8. I seen it when I was riding by and I said, my Lord, what is this car dealership doing with a BMW i8 at it, right? I'm like, I mean, it's an exotic, you know, it's like a hundred plus thousand dollar BMW. I said, I gotta pull in, I gotta pull in, I gotta come check this thing out. So that's what we're doing, we're gonna review it. They have given me the keys to it, to open it up, show it to you. Heck, he said, if I wanna drive it down the road, I can drive it down the road. But here's the only issue we got today. We can't do a long review on it because they're about to close because it's getting late in the evening. So we might have to come back. So the video won't be too long. But with all that being said, the BMW i8 is like, it's the car, you know? Do you remember it with Will Smith in the movie? I think it was iRobot. He was rocking that, or was that an Audi? I don't know. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Oh my Lord, look at the rims on this car. My goodness, they're beautiful. The drilled rotors, the calipers, Oh, you got 20s on here with a 215 45 series. Beautiful Bridgestone tires. I mean, look at the wheel. Oh my goodness gracious, that is like a beast of a vehicle. Now, my favorite part is the blacked out windows. You can't see inside the car at all. I mean, those windows, that is black. I can't even see the dash. I can't see in the car. I can't see the seats. I can't even see inside the window. That is cool, right? And then, hold on, take a look at this, the front. You got your LED headlights all wrapped in there. You got your projectors in there. Beautiful kidney grill in the front. The BMW logo, it sits on the ground. Oh yeah, y'all ready to get in this thing and check it out? Let's do it. All right, everybody. So if you're still watching right now, you have been pranked. You've been pranked. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually a model car. That is not a real BMW i8, okay? The joke is over, okay? I hope you enjoyed the little bit of it in the beginning there. I bet I had some of y'all really checking this thing out, right? You're like, oh man, Chad's about to review this car and drive it today. I said I was going to get out there and do some new stuff, and we're definitely doing it. But you just got pranked because it's not an actual BMW i8. I mean, it is. It's the body. It's the shell. There's no engine. There's no interior. There's nothing going on. What you have here is basically a display model that BMW sent out to many dealerships all over the country and said, look, for $17,000, you're going to pay us seventeen dollars and you're going to put this model in your showroom. Can you believe that? That model is a $17,000 model. Now, I don't know how Auto Buy Center actually got this model. Obviously, they bought it at some point. It's cool, though, and they did a great job with it because it definitely gets some attention when cruising by on the highway. Now, he said that the actual rims of the car are actually real, okay? And they definitely feel real, and the tires are real, but this is this is all fake. I mean, let's just get a good look here, okay? I mean, they're... That, that feels like metal, but it then it feels like... That's metal back there, okay? But it's all fiberglass. I mean, look here. <laughs> My finger's not going through there, okay? There's no window here. This is all fiberglass. It does have real wiper blades, which is kind of cool, and it's got that going on. But again, this is all fiberglass, the entire thing. I know it's a little hard to hear, but it's fiberglass. But it's really cool, isn't it? It's something different. Check it out. It fooled me, okay? I went inside, I walked in there, all these sales guys and the owners were sitting up front. I said, guys, I'm a YouTuber that does car videos. I'm like, I really wanna film that BMW i8 out there. I said, what's it gonna take for me to film it? And he comes out here and he goes, well, you can go ahead and film it. He said, try to get in it. Uh, so I'm looking at it, I said, hold on a minute. Is this for real? He said, it's a model, man. I'm like, really? So anyways, he, I got pranked as well. The guys inside were laughing their butts off at me thinking I'm gonna film a BMW i8 today and it actually is a model. But anyways, pretty cool. 
I'm sure it's the exact same size and everything of a real BMW i8, but it does got real pretends of tires, but it's fake. So anyways, pretty cool though, right? Check it out. Definitely is pretty. Oh yeah. Now, we definitely would like to do a review of this car at some point. So if we ever get our chance to get one on camera, we'll do it. All right, everybody, I hope you're not upset at me for pranking you, but we always gotta have a little fun, right? Coming down to see my friends at Auto Buy Center here in Ravenel, South Carolina. You know, Auto Buy Center has been around here in Charleston for probably over, over five to 10 years. Um, I remember the owner back in the day, I went to his car lot off Savannah Highway, had a small dealership right off Savannah Highway, and I remember going in there at one point, trying to sell him on doing some advertising with me and car videos, this, that, and the other. And uh, he really thought about it and then never never got back in touch with me and never was interested. But uh, today, I wasn't in here on a sales call or anything like that. I was really just stopping by to check out the BMW. And uh, end, up, end up, the partner of the owner comes out and he's like, dude, he's like, He's like, I'd like to do some advertising, man. He's like, work something up for me. So, I'm gonna get his business card and maybe in the future here, we can do something with the Auto Buy Center. You know, what he said, their main thing out here at their dealership is selling cars that are attractive price, okay? Now, let me show you one real quick that's attractive price. Here is, I'm getting ready to walk up on it right here. Check this out, this, this is what we're talking about. Here is a Subaru for $29.95 or $29.50. A Subaru, okay, for $29.50. Here's a Pontiac Grand Am for $22.50. That's cheap. I mean, that's cheap. And look at that. That's a that's a nice looking car right there. Might as well just browse through some more. Hold on. There is a BMW 7 Series over here. Let's see what the price is on this one. Hold on. Six thousand. What? Sixty-five hundred dollars for a 7 Series BMW. What? What? 6,500. The big rims. Look at the body. The body's in great shape. Gray leather interior. Rear end looks good. I mean, the 745i for 6,500 bucks? Dude, that's almost like unbelievable. Anyways, so that's just a little taste. And that's what he was telling me. He said, he said, we specialize in cars that are not expensive. Like cash deals. I mean, heck, somebody could buy that Beamer for $6,500. Cash money today. Um, look at the Lincoln right here. Let's take a look at the Lincoln Town Car. But here's the thing. I hope we do get to film some stuff out here with them because they get stuff that a lot of the dealers that I go to don't have, like a Lincoln, right? Who gets to film a stinking Lincoln? We're going to film a stinking Lincoln at some point. So there's all kinds of great cars. There's a Trailblazer, $39.95. Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm sure that one's not that expensive. Here's a Ford Fusion. $69.95 for a Ford Fusion. Ford Taurus, no price on it. Oh, here's one, an Acura TL, 3.5 liter V6, great car, $32.50 cash, okay? That's what I'm talking about, look at that. $32.50 cash money, sunroof, leather. Acura makes a good car, so anyways, I got a couple Acuras out here. Come on down and see him at Auto Buy Center right here in Ravenel. I hope you had a good time with me. And um, maybe we'll come out here again next time. I mean, I'm out here every week, so why not come out and check out some cars? Peace.